The fast pace of modern lifestyle has been revolutioned in fashion industry. That's the origins of fast fashion. Fast fashion regards to cheap garments that are produced quickly to keep up with trends. It is low cost, but our environment do pay the cost. From manufacturing to disposal, there are series of pollution. In this video, we will look into details of those environmental impacts and try to figure out some possible solutions. There are four environmental impacts in the textile production processes. The first one is chemical pollution. During the manufacturing processes, there are abundance of chemical reagents used. Three kinds of hazardous chemicals are to be introduced. Monophenol ethoxylase are used in several processes of textile manufacturing. It will degrade to nonalphenol in environments. Nonalphenol is persistent, bioaccumulative, and toxic, and can act as a hormone disruptor. They can cause feminization, decrease male fertility, and decrease survival in young fish. Phthalates are used as garment printing ends in textile industry. They are harmful to human health. For example, DEHP is toxic to reproductive development in mammals. There are 1.7 million tons of various chemicals are used in the dyeing process. The most concerned dyes are azo dyes. Some of the aromatic amines released from azo dyes are carcinogenic. For example, ozanistine can increase tumor incidence in many organs. Hazardous contaminants produced include, but not limited to the three mentioned before. These harmful chemicals can release into the environment via wastewater discharged from the factory. As some of them are persistent, they can accumulate and build up through the food chain and affect the health of the organism along the web. The second impact is extensive water consumption for textile dyeing and finishing. According to Greenpeace, 200,000 liters of water is used for every 1,000 kg of textile produced, 7,000 liters for a pair of jeans, 2,700 liters for a t-shirt. The third impact arises from the use of synthetic fibers. The manufacture of man-made fibers is an energy-intensive process that requires large amount of crude oil and releases emissions including volatile organic compounds, particulate matter, and acid gases such as hydrogen chloride, all of which can cause and aggravate respiratory diseases. The most widely used manufactured fiber is polyester which is made from petroleum. Polyester, already present 60% of today's clothing, takes decades to degrade. It also emits nearly three times as much carbon dioxide in its life cycle than cotton. The fourth impact stems from the use of pesticides when cultivating natural fibers. Large amounts of pesticides are often used to increase crop yield of cotton. One of the most popular and versatile fibers used in clothing manufacture. Pesticide application can unfortunately injure long target plants and animals, disrupting the natural balance in the ecosystem. To make clothing, fabric is needed. To make fabric, thread is needed. To make thread, fiber is needed. As fabric is the main raw material of clothing, cutting down pollution in fabric manufacturing means a lot to the whole fashion industry. Here, I am going to introduce the top 5 eco-friendly fiber, concluded by a research in Canada. Number 5. Organic Curtain Organic curtain was harvested without the use of GMOs, pesticides, insecticides, or any chemicals that could possibly harm the environment. This fiber is low price and is also biodegradable. Number 4. Bamboo It's the fastest growing plant in the world. Bamboo grows without pesticides or insecticides. It also requires 4 times less water compared to cotton. Number 3. Eucalyptus which has a commercial name Tencel. The fiber is biodegradable and is a very low amount of water and is also highly recyclable. Number 2. Linen It requires no chemical for growth at all. This fiber is also biodegradable. 
What's so special about this fabric is that it's very strong, which makes the clothing products last longer than those with other material. Number one, hemp. It's one of the most environmentally friendly fiber currently available. This plant is naturally resistant and requires little water. It takes only 11 weeks to mature. It can make very durable clothes. The pollution problem is intensified by the incredible speed of the production cycle of the fast fashion industry. Guess how fast it is? Fashion is seasonal. It used to be four seasons in a year. Now it may be up to 15 or even more. For Sarah, it get incredibly compressed into only one week from designing to get it on sale. That turns out 10,000 new designs each year. The instant hook keep on attracting customers, making more people fall in love with fast fashion as it only requires a little fortune to satisfy their desire for shopping trendy items. American buys 20 billion garments a year, which is a double from 20 years ago. Well, that's 68 items per person per year, which is over an item per person per week. In order to be on trend, we keep on buying and at the same time we throw the outdated items away. Buy, dump, buy, dump, and that's become a cycle. In the US, there are about 30 million tons of clothing being thrown each year. In Hong Kong, we throw 1,400 t-shirts every minute, which is enough to cover 25,000 Hong Kong stadium. Every day, there are 300 tons of textile being disposed, and that is the weight of 11.5 double-decker bus. These textile waste brings along with other environmental problems. Now the effects of waste pollution on land and air are discussed. For land, the dikes and coasts contain a few heavy metals like lead. In 2011-2014, Greenpeace discovered that the coasts from different brands contain TBT and PFCS. All of them are long biodegradable. When there is raining, these particles will be washed into river and soil. However, they are difficult to break down and being accumulated in the environment. Again, in some sketch this toxins from the food chain affecting their different immune and production system. In addition, land gets saturated for such huge amounts of textile waste and usually gone to the third world countries and more land will be occupied by causes. For air, textile waste can be treated by incinerator and induce air pollution. Since the fiber of coasts is made by petrochemicals, some toxic gases will release when burning. There are a few examples. First, when PVC is burned, dioxin, a poison of century, is spread into environment and cannot break down. Is carcinogenic and affect hormone. Also, it may cause cancer and injure our immune and production system. Second, burning nylon releases CO2, CO, SO2, NO2. Third, burning PET produces CO, CH4, formaldehyde, and benzene. All of these gases pollute the environment and are toxic. Recycling can help reduce the weight of clothing. There are several organizations in Hong Kong carry out used coal recycling. The collected coals will sell as second-hand clothing, sent to third world countries, or turned into a new textile fiber. Not all collected coals can be reused. For example, coals for winter are always not suitable for sending to developing countries and finally sent to landfill. Almost 90% of collected coals are finally sent to landfill and only 0.1% is recycled into new textile fiber. The benefits of recycling seems unremarkable. Therefore, second-hand coffin should be promoted. With the help of second-hand coffin tray, the benefits of recycling can be enhanced. In fact, there are many lingard second-hand boutiques in Hong Kong.